Okay, so I've got some really interesting news to really share with you, and that is that as of this upcoming season, the 2021-2022 NBA season, the NBA is switching their basketballs. They are no longer using Spalding. They are now using Wilsons. And according to some of the players who I have been talking to, who I know, um, it's basically a Wilson evolution, which... Uh, some players are very, very hateful upon it, while others are absolutely loving it. So what are some of the differences when it comes to these basketballs? Well, the NBA Spalding Ball, it to me, always felt very similar to the Evolution after they switched it from the, uh, the, the type of leather they were using before. And they kind of switched it, I think it was around five years ago, and it felt very similar. It had almost a soft-like touch to it, while the previous basketballs that I had to use when I was going for the D-League um, seemed to be really hard. So this is kind of the idea behind today's video, and that is... When you're comparing the basketballs. So as an example, here I have this CEBL basketball. This is the basketball that is used in the Canadian Basketball League. And here I've also got the Wilson Evolution, which is essentially the ball they are going to be using in the NBA this year. And to me, both of these basketballs seem very, very similar. However, there are some massive changes between them. And one thing that I really do notice is the Spalding basketball has a rubber style um, groove in the ball, while the Wilson Evolution actually has a, um, I'm going to call it a fake leather groove. It's not real leather. But either way, that is some big major differences. Another major difference between these balls is technically the Spalding basketball feels heavier. And I've seen a few comments on the channel and on the video where I reviewed this Wilson basketball. And a lot of people have said the same thing. Well, I actually measured the weight on my food measuring thing. And they are actually the same weight. So what's the deal? Why does this one feel heavier than this one? because of the texture. So the texture on this is a much harder texture. Now this is only a TF250. This is no this is nowhere close to a basketball that is used in the NBA. The NBA is very similar to the TF1000 and it seems to have a lot softer. I don't have one here sadly, but it does seem to feel a lot softer, but the ones that when I have this at the gym back when we were allowed to be at the gym, um, this one still seemed lighter, but it wasn't because I was curious about two years ago and we measured them and they're basically the same. I'm not going to go down to the decimal points of a gram because that's basically all it was. So this is getting me to my next point, which is essentially when I finally, whenever I can afford to get my own indoor basketball court, I'm going to have multiple balls. Now, every as every ball does feel different when you are training, when you're working with them, every ball feels different. Some players will not like one ball over the other. There's a FIBA basketball that is like texture-wise is very similar to the two, TF250. However, it has these weird small grooves that you have to kind of get your hand around and get used to when you're shooting. And I feel like I actually kind of shoot better with the Wilson Evolution, and then I kind of shoot better with the Spalding afterwards, and I really don't shoot very well with the, with the FIBA basketball. So this is kind of the point where it's always good to train with multiple basketballs. Knowing the feeling and getting to a point where it doesn't necessarily matter which basketball you're using. Now there's a couple of different reasons for that. Number one is, of course, you can go to the gym and you, they just might say, shoot for who whose basketball we use and at that point you might be stuck with a Spalding or you might be stuck with a Wilson or you might be stuck with a, a FIBA basketball. So 
when I get my own gym, I'm going to have multiple basketballs. I've got these already. I'm getting my stuff ready for the gym. Once I get a gym, I'm going to have one, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to have a few Wilson Evolutions, a few Spaldings, and a few of everything, really. And that way, players can train with any basketball they like. But at the same time, let's say I've got players who... For example, are trying to get to the NBA. I now have five players who have made it to at least the summer league. And from there, they're going to be using the Wilson Evolution. They need to get used to that. Meanwhile, there's the NCAA that uses Nike. There's FIBA that uses a FIBA ball. And then there's the CEBL that uses this ball, the TF250. So get used to every single ball don't just say well the NBA uses the Wilson ball this is the one we need to use this is the one that we need to uh, get used to because you may not make the NBA however if you're going to let's say a FIBA game let's say you made Team USA or you made Team Canada you might want to use a FIBA ball if you're going overseas you may want to use the Spalding ball a lot of overseas leagues will use the Spalding ball for example, the CEBL, which is the Canadian League, uses a Spalding ball. So get used to all the different balls. Get used to, that seems weird to say that, but get used to how each of these basketballs feel and go from there. It's it's an interesting time because Spalding has been part of the NBA for so long. So that's just my message. Get used to every single ball. Don't just be married to one of them. As you can see, I use both. I actually turned down a sponsorship from Wilson so that I can use both. So that's why. I had Wilson a few weeks ago contact me and say, hey, we'll give you a ton of stuff and a ton of everything. Just use our basketballs all the time. Use a Wilson Evolution outside. Um, no, don't do that. Um, I would love to do that. However... At the same time, I want to be able to use multiple basketballs. I don't want to be married to just one. Yes, I turned down a hell of a lot of money, but at the same time, now I get to use whatever I want. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.